Hey everybody, it's your instructor Carol Billing and I wanted to take a minute to run through the finer points of the syllabus. Just give you a heads up on anything that's unique. I know that you'll spend hours poring over this document to read every last word. Kidding. Um, so while I would like you to read it, I'm going to point out a couple important things. Um, first off, office hours, Monday, Wednesday, and then midday. And then I do Tuesday night on Zoom, which if you're not familiar, go over and check it out. It's www.zoom.us. And it's a free um, service you can, or free for you, because I pay for my room. So I just give you the code, and then we can meet using any device or on your computer. You don't have to have a camera per se. I have one, so you can see me, which may or may not be a good thing. And then, um, but a lot of times I'll meet with students at like 8 at night, 8 to 9, because my kids are sleeping. So I, I'm working pretty much every night. So there's that. That's a great way to hook up. If you can't do Tuesday night, just email me at night. And usually 8 o'clock is always open. Unless we have Cub Scouts, but that's a whole other thing. Okay. So um, office phone, if for some reason email's not coming through to me, you're not getting a response in 24 hours, usually I'll respond, even if I can't give you an answer, I'll just say, okay, let me work on this. I'll get back to you tonight um, if I'm running around during the day, but I get your email on my phone. Um, but definitely in 24 hours, I should say something. And if I don't, then go ahead and call me here and leave me a message. And that way, at least I will get that and be able to check my junk folder on see why you're going in my junk folder. If you email from your home, email your non-CWI one, you have a higher chance of put, getting put into my junk folder. So try to always use your CWI one that you have a better shot of actually me receiving your email. All right. Um, basic stuff. You can call me and I'll call you on my office hours if you, like if you're, you'll forget or whatever. It's kind of hard when it's like one hour in the middle of the day. So if you just call or email me and give me your number and say, would you call me during your office hours? I will do that to uh, talk about a question. Email is the best, usually 24 hours, but I say 48, but it's usually 24. And I say I don't respond on weekends, but... Um, pretty much work every day during the school year or during the semester. I'll try not to though. It'd be nice to <laughs> have Sundays off. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. You know, I started with one section and now I have three, so I'm a little bit freaked out, but I think it's going to be good. All right. Of course, description is there. Those are all the um, affair, academic affairs objectives that it, it meets. I think it meets all of them. I think it's a very robust course. I think it's going to teach you a lot of stuff. And I hope it challenges you to think about the future and what you're going to do with your love of gaming if you decide you want it to be, you know, a career aspiration, something you want to work towards. Um, all three sections of the class are online. You're all in one blackboard, which may or may not work. We're going to give it a try. Um, I think it'll work for you. I think I might be buried in assignments and probably die, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Objectives, outcomes, this is kind of the stuff we're working on in the class. This is all outlined in your calendar, in your assignments. The signature assignment here is called the summary assignment, and it's purposely vague on this because I'm just not 100% sure what it's going to look like, but I have an idea. It'll be um, web, it'll be electronic. Um, it'll probably be either your choice of doing a Prezi, a PowerPoint, or a, uh, wait, a web page where you highlight some of the assignments that we've done in class and then you do a screen capture over it to explain the importance of the assignments and maybe you pick like I'm thinking three or four assignments that you talk about why you thought they were you know why they helped you to do them like they had some value for you why they had some value for you okay grading policy is here you can see my D range is really narrow so pretty much you're gonna get an A B or a C or you're gonna fail it um, I think if you give 100%, you'll probably end up in the A range. It's not that hard of a class. We're not talking brain surgery here, but you just got to watch your deadlines and get your work in. Oh, and I have like super high standards for work. Yeah, there's that. Kind of a perfectionist. I did write on somewhere that I used to be a computer technology instructor, so that should tell you something about my personality. Um, I'm a little bit particular when it comes to like um, being on time and listening to directions and giving a 100% effort. I taught high school, so I know the difference between 
100% effort and like a little bit of effort. <clears throat> okay. Um, so I have a rule about grade books. I, um, once a grade is entered in Blackboard, it's like cement. After two weeks, it's set. So make sure you check it every week. If I switch numbers, catch me, you know, let me know because I am dyslexic and I'll switch numbers. Um, and you'll notice that in my writing because I'll misspell words that are very simple. And they, but I switch letters when I type and when I write. Um, so to every two weeks. So at the end of the semester, we can't go back to week three because there's an assignment that you question the grade on it. You have to question them right right away. Okay. All right. Um, financial aid super important to everybody. These are how I make sure that you are participating in the class. So the first week is pretty simple. You just have to log in because they make the um, reporting deadline before my first deadline. So I can't say like you have to do the first week's assignments because they aren't due yet. Second week though, I am looking that you've done everything in your current. And then you want to keep that up, obviously, for the rest of the semester. Um, please don't ask me to open past links of submitted work. People move mountains to get deadlines on time, and I want to respect the work that they do to get things on on time. And that means not opening it up for late. If you do have a crisis, I have a policy. So late work, make up work policy. Just read through this here, and these are the steps. If you have an exceptional reason for missing the work. Yeah. Okay, textbook. This is the book. Um, third edition, probably a second or fourth edition are also fine if you come across those. They typically don't change very much. It seems like they're trying to put on a new textbook every year, which I hate. I probably will move to some sort of um, fully web-based list of resources and I'll wait for my textbook in the future because I pretty much hate the whole textbook bracket, but I think every professor does, unless they've actually written a textbook and they're doing a check every time the textbook ha. <laughs> Anyway, I would rent it. I think you can read through it one time and get the essence of the information. I don't think you need to hold on to this book forever. Of course, calendars and blackboards. Make sure you print that out. And I have a video that goes through that. Um, of course, expectations and attendance. Uh, online attendance is a little different than regular. But you do need to be checking in regularly. And blackboards, I know you're still there. And of course, doing your work, doing your assignments will do that. Um, all assignments are due Mondays at 5. Um, if you work on Mondays, that means your deadline is Sunday at midnight or Sunday before you go to bed or whatever. Or just make it Sunday anyway because then if there's a problem, you still have Monday to fix whatever the problem is like Blackboard going down. Gee, that's never happened. Um, so <laughs> I make it Mondays at 5 so you can actually make the deadline Sunday before you go to bed and then you are set. And you can actually start on the new work early because I'll be opening this up later. All right, I try to grade about a week in about a week, especially if you have one assignment that builds on another. And I try to pay attention to that. Um, yeah, you probably go in about two or three times a week because you've got a fair amount of reading and then videos online to look at. And then you have your assignment to work on and submit. So yeah, I could see going in two or three times a week. I think if you're in the gaming, you've probably got all the computer proficiency and the more. If you're not, that's okay. You don't have to be. Like I said in another video, I am not a gamer, actually. I just love technology. And I probably would love gaming. I think that's why I've hesitated really getting into it, because I'd probably just have this... There'd just be this huge sucking sound, and it'd be all of my time, and it'd be gone. <laughs> because I would be um, probably driving... Driving the race car driving games is looking really fun. I, I just bought a drone last week. One of the it's a cheap one, but it's really so much fun. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to take all my time just flying this little drone on our three acres up in Middleton. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, netiquette expectations. So read through that. So we're on target with that. I use a lot of I don't know how to say this word. Emocons, emocons, whatever. I use a lot of those when I write, and people, I think, think it's funny, but I think it's just part of being clear, because because I have a really dry sense of humor. If you can't hear my voice, I think it would be easy to misunderstand me, so um, I've learned to use a lot of those, but that's just because I'm really good to the mess. Okay, academic honesty, emergency procedures around the way up. Isn't it so nice with online classes? You don't want to have to worry about this. 
Um, okay, great. So you don't need to print this out. Just read it online one time through. You should be good to go. And watch the video. Yeah, I think you're dialed. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. We'll talk to you soon.